These are local divers searching for the body of Anthony Okecheme, Director of Finance, Federal Capital Territory High Court, who was swept away by a heavy flood on Friday. Roots TV Nigeria had on Friday reported the heavy flooding that left many residents of Lokogoma district stranded while drawing the attention of the authorities to potential tragedy lurking. Barely five hours after the report, the news of Okecheme missing filled the air. It will be here since yesterday. Left here about eight in the night. We've not been able to find him. A lot of people have come from various groups, going into the water, going into the surrounding uh, swampy areas. I can say, but uh, we've not been able to find him. And uh, we are we are staying. We don't really want to go. We want to get him. If he's dead, let's know that he's dead and take the cops away. That's our concern. Eyewitness accounts attribute the unfortunate incident to government's negligence and poor emergency system. Before the read there, there was a pool of water. Although it's not, that water is not much. But the jeep, because of the, uh, the, the, the height of the jeep and the weight of the jeep, the jeep was able to make it. He made it. Then the other man, as he was going, when he read the middle of that pool, the cast of there, the driver and the man, they were there. So that water pulled the car by the side. After pulling it by the side, they were still there, they didn't come out. After like five to six minutes, because we were there looking at them, like film. So after five minutes, they came out. When they came out, the level of the water has reached this window side. So they were trying to wind down. The wiper was still working. They wind up. They carried some documents, big bag, so they now came out. When they came out, there was nothing they could do, because the water has rise up again. And the other man, if you look at the driver, the driver is somehow a guy, he can try, he can swim a little bit, but the man could not do that. So from that down, where there was a car, car was one there, the driver backed the man. He backed him, they swim like, like one electric pole, or more than safe. So when they now reach that hill, they stop there. So the water was everywhere. They stand, two of them stand, helpless. They were even calling us, please help, help, but there was nothing we could do. For seven years now, this work has been here. They are not, the, the work is not moving forward. That is the problem of this Galadima about that is causing the hold up every day. Okechime was on his way to the Namdi Azikiwe International Airport in his official 2017 Toyota Camry when his vehicle stalled in the flood water at Geladimawa roundabout Abuja. This is started this year. I've, been, I've lived in this area for about 10 years now. We've never experienced this type. This is second in two weeks now. Second in two weeks. We don't know what is happening. If you ask me as a layman, I say, well, maybe waterway, somewhere, somehow, is being blocked. And you know water must find its level. When, well, if it wants to go through and it doesn't go, it will continue to accumulate until it gets the force to break through. Okechema's driver who survived the ordeal was admitted to the Asukuru District General Hospital. Road TV Nigeria crew visited the hospital and was told he had been discharged. This is the second death in two weeks following flooding in Lokogoma District with several houses, according to the Federal Capital Development Control, marked for demolition. Construction work at the roundabout, which connects three communities, has been on for over four years and the more the delays continues, the chances of tragedy increases. For now, the relative of Antonio Ketchame can only hope and pray that he is found alive. Roots TV Nigeria.